Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to take a look at replacing the battery on a 2015 Ford Transit. So if this sounds like fun, the first thing we should do is locate the battery. All right, so let's pop the hood and this is where you might think the battery would be. And if you look here, you got this box and actually if you open up this red tab here, you'll see there's actually a lug here which is actually connected to the positive terminal of the battery, but this is not the battery. I've seen some videos where some guy actually claimed this was a battery, but it's not. If you pop this open, you're actually gonna see this is one of the fuse boxes. There's a couple of fuse boxes on this uh, transit and I found that out the hard way because I blew a few fuses and had to replace them but long story short the battery is not in the main engine compartment while we're sticking around here maybe i will point out that again um you do have a connection to the main battery in the main engine connection so if you have to jump your battery you can connect positive here and then negative to that point right there so you do have connections to the battery but the battery is not actually located in the main engine compartment it's actually under the driver's door uh, sorry excuse me under the driver's seat so let's go ahead and open this up and we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of finagling to get a little bit of room to get access to the battery underneath the driver's seat. So let's go ahead and set up the camera. And the first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and take off um, these two little plastic bits here to expose a T45 Torx nut. So I just basically just wiggle this plastic piece off and then might take it might be hard to do with one hand so i'm going to pause the camera here and i'll take off both of these to expose you can see right here this t45 torx nut all right so we got these two plastic pieces off and i think i misspoke a second ago i said torque nut but actually i meant torque bolt so here it is here's one and two and you see they're exposed now so just grab a t45 torx head and we're just going to remove them all right, so we got those two bolts out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the armrest of the driver's seat up, and now we can slide the seat forward, and removing those two bolts gives us a little bit more clearance. It really, I measured it's not a ton, but gives you a skosh more. But now that we got the seat up, we can uh, go ahead and move behind the driver's seat. So I'll pause the camera, and I will reposition it inside the van behind the driver's seat so we can take a look at the battery. All right, so we're now repositioned behind the driver's seat. So the next thing I need to do is remove this panel here which is attached to this kind of cloth piece so it's really actually pretty simple it almost feels like it's just friction fit in there i just need to kind of pull it off and there you go there's no bolts or anything um yeah i can't see any real clips or anything like that in the back and now to get this thing out of the way you'll see i've actually already got a bungee cord that i just wrapped around the driver's side door and now i'm just going to kind of tuck it up and make sure that it is up and out of the way so i can do some of the next steps. So, uh, okay, let me reposition the camera so we can see the, some of these bolts that we need to take off. All right, so next we need to get this bar off. So there's two bolts here, one, two, and they're eight millimeters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my eight millimeter wrench and unscrew them. All right, next there's uh, two cable clips here and this rubber grommet uh, attached to the bar. So that's all we need to do is just kind of remove those. So I'll just use a flathead to kind of pull, pop some of these two cable clips off. There we go. And then wiggle the rubber grommet out. Oopsies, come on. There we go, great. And then the bar should just come right out. Perfect, bar just slides out. All right, so now what we can do is just unlatch this little tab here and we can remove this plastic cover to expose the negative battery post. Again, we're gonna be a little bit, start being a little careful because we're gonna expose the, uh, the posts here. The next thing to do is go ahead and just pop this little tab here up and then this whole cover will slide forward. You might have to like wiggle it a little bit, but there's nothing, there's no tabs in the front, so that's kind of nice. So just pull this entire lid out and there we go there's the battery all right so now we're going to get ready to remove the, uh, the the battery so we're going to take off the negative terminal now this is an excellent time uh to maybe install and utilize your battery saver or your memory saver so i've got another video describing what that is and how it works so feel free to check out the video right over here i'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and done that in fact that's what i've done i don't know if you can hear that beeping in the background but that's my battery saver telling me that it's installed and ready to go so i should now be able to remove the uh, connections to the primary battery without uh, worrying about losing settings in my car like the radio or things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew this nut right here that will allow me to remove the negative battery terminal, uh, the, the negative battery 
um, yeah, terminal from the post. Okay, I can remove that and I've, I've loosened it and I forgot to mention that's a 10 millimeter, seems to fit that. So I'll just go ahead and slide off this. Okay, tuck it safely out of the way. Maybe in a second I'll wrap this in some electrical tape just so we make sure we don't touch anything. All right, while we're down here, we can also go ahead and remove this uh, discharge, uh, I think it's like a vent hose or something like that. But all right, it just pops right out. There we are, we'll tuck him out of the way. And now what we can do is for my car only has a single battery. So there's this extra brace, which really is just like, it's literally just sitting in here <laughs> via this V channel. So I'll just pop him out and set him off to the side. All right, so I went ahead and just insulated and wrapped the negative um, battery cable with some electrical tape and some rubberized material. Again, uh, I don't, you know, this might be extra overkill, but like we said earlier, we've got a battery saver hooked up to this. So I actually have a second battery hooked up to the, the system via the OBD2 sensor. So I'm not gonna take any chances and you know, electrical tape is cheap. Okay, so now at this point, I think we're ready to just rotate the battery. Yep, there we go. Come on, rotate. Should be a little careful with what I'm bonking. Let's see if I can rotate it. There we go. Okay. All right, let me push some of the cabling out of the way safely. Okay, so we've got the positive, the cap to the positive battery terminal exposed. So let's just go ahead and remove it. It just kind of sits in here. Uh, there we go. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. I'll grab my 10 millimeter wrench and we're just gonna loosen it and see if we can get the battery cable off of the battery terminal. And again, I'll just be very careful what I'm actually touching with my wrench. All right, so it's loosened, so let's just go ahead and wiggle it off. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this guy up and insulate him so the terminal can't make any uh, shorts with anything uh, as I'm doing further work. All right, so I got the terminal all taped up. So now what we can do is just think about lifting this battery out of the box. All right, and there we go, we've got it all removed. So uh, at this point, it's just the opposite. So I'll go ahead and replace the battery and do everything in reverse. I don't think there's a ton of value in me filming that, but what there might be some interest in is, uh, take a look here, it's kind of interesting. There's this big battery box. So we will actually will remove some of this. So if you're interested in seeing more of what it looks like underneath here, please check out my other video where I'm actually going to route shore power from the exterior of the van up through this location and use it to power other subsystems in my camper setup. So um, I think that's enough for this video where we talk about just how to remove and replace the battery. So all right, so there you have it, how to replace a battery on a Ford Transit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that video and it was helpful. If so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me continue making these videos and I hope to have a lot more transit videos. Uh, in fact, uh, if you're interested, I'm actually working in, in the process of turning this van into kind of a family adventure van. So uh, if you subscribe to the channel, hopefully you'll be able to see some of those as I release them coming out in the future. So until I see you again in another video, I'll talk to you later. Bye.